Ladies and gentlemen, we continue the media days with day six for the Chicago Bulls. And this time we have three interviews to discuss. Two of them have already talked in the day one and day two media days for the Chicago Bulls. But we look forward to also a brand new interview in one of our free agent signings. So without further ado, let's discuss media day number six. Let's do it. What's up everybody, it's the Aiden Sports Show and welcome back to another video. Today we've got a Chicago Bulls video in relation to the media day. Once again, the progression, the continuation of the media day continues to be strong for the Chicago Bulls and this time we've got some good things to discuss on both sides of the basketball. We've got offense, but we spoke a lot about defense today. But before we get started, please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Turn notifications on and let me know in the comments below. Overall, what do you think about the Chicago Bulls media day for day six? Uh, obviously, the people that we did talk, that the Bulls talked to, not me, was Zach Levine, uh, Billy Donovan, and obviously Garrett Temple, uh, brand new signing Garrett Temple. And obviously, we have two people that have already talked before in Billy Donovan and uh, Zach Levine. And there are very, very interesting things going around about the Chicago Bulls, especially on the defensive end. The defensive end is something that I feel was specifically targeted today. But first things first, we're going to move to Garrett Temple because Garrett Temple was the first one to do talk today. And Garrett Temple was a little bit of um, a sad note as well, considering what's happened to him. If you guys don't know, if you didn't watch the, um, the interview, I suggest you go watch that yourself. Um, Garrett Temple caught the virus coming into Chicago from a family member, according to him. So obviously that is a big thing, in my opinion. That is uh, something that we're going to be dealing with, as will other teams for a few months, potentially years, that we're going to be potentially be facing this sort of issue with, um, with the virus. And Garrett Temple was the latest one from that. Thankfully, his family and everybody that he was with at the time seems to be safe and healthy, according to him. So that's everything is good. And prayers obviously go to everybody that does have the virus. So with that being said, um, he seems to be fine now. He did have symptoms. Um, but thankfully, all those things seems to be out of the way. He's expected to make a um, an appearance in the Chicago Bulls training on Wednesday, which I think for Thursday, it'll be Thursday for me, but it'll be Wednesday for you guys, of course. And um, yeah, uh, that's that's the main thing that happened. They were, they were talking about how he's how he was, and um, I'm glad that he was honest about it. And because obviously he wasn't at training camp, he was in a hotel. So I'm happy that he was honest about it. Of course, there's no reason why you shouldn't be honest about things like this. Many, many teams, many, many players are going to go through this. I believe 48 people um, tested positive in the NBA out of about 500 people or so. So it's not like... Um, it's not like it's going to be something that's not a, that's a rare occurrence. We're going to see this regularly, in my opinion, to be honest. It's the inevitable. So uh, hopefully he's okay. Hopefully his family's okay. And other than that, he talked about what it would be like to play for the Chicago Bulls. Obviously, the relationships that he has with Sadaransky, Billy Donovan, um, Otto Porter. He talked about how Zach Levine is a star in the making, which is a big, big compliment. And Zach Levine took that very, very well. Obviously, he talked about how he's going to come in and do whatever the coach asks of him. He's a very versatile guard, and he believes that this team is very, very good and can go places. Now, that's pretty much the gist of his uh, interview. That's what everybody um, is saying as well. We are a good team, but can we back it up on the court? And that's what we're going to have to wait and see. On paper, we should be um, competing with the likes of the teams for the eighth, eighth seed. It's as simple as that. But obviously, it's it's not on the games are not played on paper, so it's time to back up what we say. And I think Garrett Temple, in my opinion, is going to be a player that we could be very, very, very um, lenient on, especially off of the bench. Uh, he talked about how him and Denzel Valentine look alike, and of course, they definitely look alike. I mean, come on, they look alike. Um, but anyway, but other than that. I'm just I'm I'm excited to see him play off off the bench. He is someone that people rate highly as a teammate. Again, there are players on in this league that may not be the best players. I mean, Garrett Temple's not 
ever been the best player on a team in my opinion but what he does bring is great leadership great teammate he's a great teammate he's a team oriented player and these are the things that you need to look at with if with your chicago bulls because we haven't really played as a team for for many years now so getting players like that is young last season getting players like garrett temple who have been a part of a team oriented style um, and making us better as a team. I think that's only a positive. Again, we will wait and see how well he does for the Chicago Bulls. How often will he play? I doubt he'll play at the start of the year, to be honest, because COVID hits people in many different ways. And maybe he just won't be ready because he has missed a good chunk of training camp now. So if he is ready, great. If he's not, then we're going to have to give him some time to get it well adjusted into this league and uh, into this team. And we wait and see what exactly that could be. Moving on to the next interview, it was Zach Levine. Zach Levine talked again to the Chicago Bulls. Um, look, a lot of things coming out of Chicago was all about the defense this year and how we seem to be a, a better versatile defensive team, how we're not gonna blitz every play and actually allow some defenders to go down, uh, the centers to go down, which will help them dramatically. And all these things, look, a team on defense that is good will ultimately be a good team. If you're a good defensive team, you're going to be around the eighth seed already. And add that to a fantastic offense, you're only going to be a good team in this league. Defense is the key for many, many teams to how, how to be good. I mean, the Lakers were one of the best defensive teams in the NBA. Miami was one of the best defensive teams in the NBA. Those two teams got to the finals. Defense is a very strong thing in this league. Now, I'm not going to come out here and say we're going to be the best defensive team in the league because I just don't think we will be. But I do think that the way that we play defense is going to be a key to how good we can be. Now, obviously, we have the likes of Patrick Williams, Otto Porter, Chandler Hutchinson, very, very versatile defenders, can guard one through four, and ultimately can do a very good job in every position on the defensive end. And I think that's what we were going for. Now, letting go of Chris Dunn and Sha Shaquille Harrison, even people like Zach Levine, Billy Donovan has said that. It's a big loss for them. And obviously, elite perimeter defending is something that in this league is an absolute must. But I think with the versatility we're trying to go for, I think we're trying to um, make sure that every position, if there is a switch, if we do have to switch, then we are able to make sure that we don't have a disadvantage on any single position in the defensive end, which is something that I believe even in our centers is a very good thing. Um, yeah, so Zach Levine was talking about that. We're not going to be blitzing every single, every single game on the defensive end. We're going to be pushing down sometimes, uh, being versatile, being, being different, allowing us to guard many different things in many different ways. And it makes, it makes us unpredictable as a team once again. And that's something that we need as a team, especially for a young team as well. Being versatile, unpredictable, uh, making teams second guess their offense and their defense is big. So I've heard a lot of good things on the defensive end from the Chicago Bulls. And Zach Levine has also said it. And that's the way I want to go. That's the direction I want to go in. Now, will we be a top five defensive team? No, we're not going to be that because I just don't think we have the tools yet to become a top five defensive team. But we can be in the first half of that league because honestly, there are not many great defensive teams in the NBA right now. So if we can manage to get around 15 to 20th, I think we were even lower than that last year. If we could get within the top half of the league and have a good consistent offense, then I think we'll, we'll be a good team for in, in this league. And that's all I want to be. I want to be a good team. That's the next progression. So defensively, I'm very, very happy about that. And hopefully the offense will carry over once again with the defense. Um, most teams that win, win championships are top five in offense and defense. So I think that's the level that we need to be over a few years time. And we wait and see if we can get there at the end of the day. That's all that we need to hope for. Um, Zach Levine also talked about his the playbook, also talked about um, how it's it's basically sometimes up to him. He's the leader of this team. He wants to be the star of this team. He works his body till exhaustion. He said that um, a number of times as well. And he it's up to him to become the leader of this team. And absolutely, the star of the team, the leader of the team, he works and leads by example, Zach Levine does. And I think no one disagrees with him there. Now, looking at the playbook, he's also talked about Kobe White potentially... Um, sharing the load with Kobe White as the ball handler. Obviously, that's fine. I mean, we don't have an out-and-out -out point guard right now. So, them sharing the ball is fine. Absolutely. 100% A-OK -okay in my books. But also, the fact that he's going through the plays, he's trying to study the game, making decisions. Zach Levine is going to have a big year for this team. And he has to if we're going to get anywhere. So, I'm very excited to see that. And also, 
talking about once again Kobe White being more vocal and being a primary ball handler is always a big thing in my in my eyes um, getting ready for the season he also talked about the schedule he said he relishes away games because it helps bond the team I think Billy Donovan will also relish the away games if that's going to be the way to build a relationship with your team um, Billy Donovan is all about that so the away game shouldn't be an issue and that's what I said yesterday as well I don't think the away games are going to be an issue for the Chicago Bulls um and yeah, that's all I could really think of about the Zach Levine press conference. There wasn't too much asked of him this time around. I think everything that was asked was that was of note was pretty much talked about on day one. But I'm very, very excited to see how this team goes. They look like they're forming relationships. They look like they're working for each other. And again, all, we, all, we, all we're going to have to do is wait and see till preseason. Wait and see, wait and see till the regular season. Uh, obviously, the last person to talk was Billy Donovan, our head coach. Um, he was talking about how he hasn't really had the chance to see these players on a personal level just yet, but he's working towards that. And obviously, he's going to have the whole season to work towards that once again as well. He also talked about how, again, the defense, trying to be more versatile on defense, having players like Patrick Williams, who's an already made defender in the NBA, Otto Porter, again, Chandler Hutchison. These are the players that I think he was leaning towards and saying that, yeah, we lost Chris Dunn. We lost Sha Shaq Harrison. Great. Harrison. Great. Fantastic perimeter defenders, but um, in what we gained with Patrick Williams and, and the way that we can play defense with constant switching sometimes, or maybe allowing different players to guard diff, um, players according to their likings and stuff like that. Again, being versatile, being able to have one through five guard each other, stuff like that. I think I'm gonna. I think it's gonna be very exciting to know that we're not gonna have a weakness on the court if that's the case. Now, again, these are things that are good in theory, but will they be able to be executed on the court? Because again, defensively, I'm not expecting a world-class defensive team in this in this league for the Chicago Bulls, not just yet. I don't think we're ready for that, but I want to see effort. I want to see the tenacity to go out and defend. He said that Zach Levine is a very good on-ball defender. Now, that's all fine and good. And I actually do think Zach Levine's a good on-ball on defender. I think last year was a very big leap in the defensive end for Zach Levine. But Zach Levine's issue was off the ball. Is, 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 is attention to being an off the ball defender. Most of the time, he's not going to be an on ball defender. So I want to see, cause I want to see progress in all of our defensive players. I want to see Larry Markkinen get some rebounds this year as well. I want to see Larry Markkinen defend a little bit more. That's one of his weaknesses, and I think he knows that. And he's been trying to become a more versatile defender, like all of the other players on this team. There are many, many people that need to improve on the defensive end. But once we get there, once we do improve on the defensive end, whether it's with new players or with the same players working every year, we can be a very good defensive team. We can be, but will it be able to? Will we be able to do it? And that's what I'm waiting to see. Um, yeah, and that was basically it for this video. Look, Billy Donovan has a lot of things to say. He's really praising Patrick Williams. He really, really is. Again, another day, another praise for Patrick Williams. Again, he also talked about how Patrick Williams will might have a tough time adjusting. He also talked about some minutes, um, potentially taking minutes away. People asked him that and he said, uh, I don't believe in taking Patrick Williams minutes away. Of course, he has gonna have a tough time adjusting as will most of the rookies out there. But um, it's a learning experience, and the more that you throw out Patrick Williams, the more that he will learn. And since he was willing to learn, he comes in every day wanting to learn. Um, throw things at him and see how he ca how he copes with that. Billy Donovan is a very smart man, very smart coach. I think he knows when to throw things at players and when to let let them off a little bit. And I and um, I'm very excited to see if we can we can see Patrick Williams from the get go have a good season. But Again, these are all things in theory that we want. Hopefully, we can see them. We're going to find out very, very soon. And the preseason is going to be very telling. He also talked about um, playing the starters in preseason. I think we're going to see the starters in preseason, as, at least for a few games. Because uh, the fact of the matter is, these, these players have not played in nine months. We need to get them fit and ready and at an NBA level. And yes, the preseason is going to be a little bit easier for us. It's going to be probably lack of defense for both sides. Um, we're not going to be the pinnacle in in the preseason but what we will be is what we ha hopefully will be after it is ready for the regular season and to put that nba level uh quality in in our teams and we wait and see but that is going to be the end of this video uh day six of the media media days uh there's gonna be more to come i'm surprised that we got repeats with zach levine and uh billy donovan we haven't seen players like uh maybe a denzel valentine even a Anybody really like I I, I want to see more people talk 
But uh, at the end of the day, we will see these things when it comes. I want to see Noah Vonley, see if he's uh, going to be talking for this team as well. Devin Dotson is someone that I haven't heard of, just haven't heard from just yet. Um, Zach Norvell. The new players that have come, I haven't heard from yet. And I know some of them are just training camp uh, training camp uh, in invites and they might not make the full team. But I would like to hear from them at least. I mean, Devin Dotson is a full Chicago Bulls player on this roster. And he's working out with this team. So why not bring him in to get an interview off? He's a new player. People want to hear from him. Allow him to talk. But yeah, we wait and see. There will be more times, more days. We will continue to hear from the likes of Larry Markin and probably as well, and Wendell Carter, all these players, the star players of this team that will come in and obviously give their opinions. And training campus seems to be going very well so far. So hopefully it continues. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new to the Aiden Sports YouTube channel. Have a wonderful and safe day. I'll see you in another Chicago Bulls video. Take care and peace.